in physics courses and in math courses, your teachers will sometimes ask you to write numbers in scientific notation. Uh, it's just the notation that they prefer. Why, I'm not quite sure. But basically it means take this decimal point, or this floating point, as I'll call it in these videos, uh, and move it between the first and second digit in the number. So if I take this decimal, this, sorry, forgive me, floating point, and I put it right here. In fact, that's why we call it floating point, is I'm floating this point, either to the left or the right. In this case, I'm doing it to the left. Um, if I float it to the left to compensate for that, then I need to times it by 10 to the 2. And this is the scientific notation of this number up here. Well, if I took that a little further and... and I don't really need to tell you the 10. The 10 is just assumed. In fact, in my, I notice in my scientific calculators, it'll, it'll give the, this value here, and it'll give the power, but it won't necessarily say times 10 to the 2. It just says E, which means I'm supposed to put a 10 there, times a time 10 to the 2. The 10 is assumed. So moving on from there, if I give you another decimal point value, and simply an exponent, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's do four. Then here, here's a number, here's a four. In fact, let's even be more, let, let's go back to what physics teachers like and put it in the right, in the correct location. Um, so if I give you this value, which is called, here's the technical term, mantissa. If I give you the mantissa and the exponent, using those two things, you should be able to figure out the actual value of this number. Well, it's simple. Um, I could write it out longhand and say, well, this is that times 10 to the, or no, 20, no, not 20, 10 to the power. But I really don't need to look at the, the 10 to the, I, all I really need is the 4. And the 4 says, you know what? Move the decimal point to the right. Four digits. So yeah, I could write it out this long way, but it's not necessary. Let's just do it the easy way. I'm just going to say, okay, well, let's move the decimal point over to the right, four digits. So one, two, three, four. So that means the decimal point will move to here, or it floats to the right, four. So this value and this value are the same. Well, guess what? In binary, it works identically. So identically, sorry. Uh, so let me give you a binary number, 1101, one, one, put a decimal point in there. And in fact, let's go back to scientific notation. Let's let's drop that up there. And then um, I need to give you a binary exponent. I can't give you a decimal exponent because we are in binary. So let me give you a binary exponent. So what is this value in binary? Well, it's 4 plus 2, which is 6, which I could write out the long way and say it's the mantissa time, oh, excuse me, it's the mantissa times 2 to the power, but really what this is saying is move the decimal point over to the right six places. So let's do that. I'll drop the number down here and let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the decimal point needs to go there, remove it from here. We just evaluated the exponent so I can delete the exponent. And so this binary value is equal to this binary value. And that's it. So, so if we go to the uh, chart which we saw in the in the reading on page 100, you saw something similar to this. There is the exponent, and there is the mantissa, and there's also the sign bit, which I'm going to kind of ignore. It's, it just determines if it's negative or positive. The exponent and the mantissa are, are really the, the things we need to spend some time understanding. the The exponent is just what we saw over here, where it's it's this power or the exponent. Um, and then the mantissa. The mantissa is is the floating point type of thing. So so that when 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 you see uh, see in the book it talks about uh, the the power or sorry it's not page one hundred it's page one hundred one and it talks about the power or the exponent in the mantissa. That's what it's talking about. It's, just, it's the same thing regardless of it's base ten or base two.